but also to ultimately be have that respect of being Iranian, um, which is really great. There she goes. <laughs> Ashley, do you mind here. taking her inside? <laughs> My name is Tarovat Talapasand. My mother's name is Azar. My father is Iraj. And my sister is Tanoz. And I was born in 1979 in Eugene, Oregon, while my dad was studying at the University of Oregon. We moved to Portland, Oregon. We were very challenged by just being Iranian, just being other, being brown. Um, most of the kids I grew up with were white. But everybody just assumed that you know, I was brown and I was Mexican. And I would always kind of fight with it, like, no, I'm from Iran, which shifted to, I'm Persian, to now back to, I'm from Iran, you know, like, I claim that. Um, and I just, I kind of, I didn't want, I don't want to say I accepted it, I just kind of rolled with it. I just didn't want to, I wasn't comfortable in having the conversation with these other white kids or even their white parents and family to kind of defend myself. I just really worked on who I was as an individual person and as a woman. Going into college, people asked me like, what are you? What does that mean? What do you mean, what am I? I'm human. And they're like, oh, I mean like, where are you from? Um, and then realizing, oh wow, I'm being exoticized, you know? And that's when I realized, I was like, this is not okay, you know? During the Iraq-Iran war, my mother told me, when you go to school or when you're out and about and people ask you where you're from, tell them that you're from Iraq. And I was like, what? Why can't I say I was from Iran? She's like, it's just gonna start some you know, problems and maybe conversations that you are, might not be ready to discuss right now. I mean, I was like, I don't know, eight. So I, don't, I don't remember, but I was, I was young. I was young not to really understand. And I, I remember feeling very offended by that. I mean, I respected my mother and I did as she wished, but um, I mean, at that point I was like, what's the difference, really? Even though I knew that there was this war between Iraq and Iran, I think 9-11 for me was like, I think that was the big turning point. Because at the time I wasn't making work about my, necessarily myself or my identity or me being Iranian or female. I was being told, once again, by my parents to not tell people where I'm from. They are like, you're American, you're born here, you are Iranian, but I mean, just be safe. I mean, there were people getting beat up just for, you know, looking like they were Middle Eastern, you know, or, or, you know, wearing a hijab or, you know, being seen as Muslim. No one has, I did, I, I did not get hassled at all. Again, people just didn't know where I was from or they assumed, oh, maybe she's from India or she's Mexican or she's South American or mixed Italian. I mean, people just could never put their finger on where I'm from until you run into somebody who actually knows an Iranian. And when you do meet somebody who knows an Iranian, they usually like love you. When I f first started making this work about you know, being Iranian, being a woman from Iran, it kind of transitioned between finding the similarities between American and Iranian culture, popular culture, what I mean. Um, so like the drug addictions, for example how sexuality is expressed in media, or not, censorship. There are a lot of similarities. I felt like it would educate my viewers in a way. I am making a point to make, focus all of my work to remind people, and to educate people, to never forget about these countries that are in complete turmoil, and all we have is, you know, CNN or Fox News or these terrible media stations that are giving us not the entire story, you know? So it really takes your own self to really like educate yourself, to learn, to find those channels, to be in the know. And so we need to come together. We need to educate ourselves. We need to be involved. How you want to be involved is your own choice. And for me, it's to make the artwork that can survive past my own life and to just be a part of history. You know, that's kind of me giving back to being Iranian.